here are the parts that you're going to be needing to assemble the fetal pig head. Pause the video right now so you can get these pieces from your envelope. We're first going to assemble the top of the pig's head. You're going to need the three pieces that are being shown at the very top. At the bottom of each piece, there is some text. Starting with the left piece, it says head dorsal one. The middle piece says head dorsal. And the third piece to the right says head internal. You're going to want to apply some glue where it says head dorsal right underneath the brain. After that, you can attach head dorsal one, which is a flap of skin that will cover the brain. Remember to just apply glue over the text. That way your skin can remain as a flap so that you can open and close it in order to view the brain. With your remaining piece, turn it over to a blank white side and apply glue. Now that you have applied glue, attach the head dorsal piece, the one we first worked on, to this blank white piece. You'll notice that now the top of the head has been built. On one side, you have the eyes, the nose, the ears, and on the other side, you have the roof of the mouth. Here are the remaining pieces you will need to build the bottom part of the fetal pig's head. To the left, we have jaw ventral one, we have a small piece labeled M, as in mom. We have a jaw internal piece and a jaw ventral. The first thing we're going to do is take a look at jaw internal. There's a box labeled M, as in mom. Put some glue in it, and we are going to put our little piece that's purple, and it's also labeled M on top of it. To build the bottom of the head, it's very similar to building the top of the head. You're going to place some glue where it says jaw ventral, and you're going to place jaw ventral one on top. This is the underside of the chin, and it's also serving as a flap in order to see the glands and the different airways and passageways that our food takes down our throat. The final step is to turn over jaw internal. You'll see a blank white side, apply some glue, and then you're going to overlap jaw ventral to it because it lines up perfectly. On one side, you'll have the chin, and on the other side, you will have a bird's eye view of the tongue. Now that we have both the top and the bottom heads built, it's time to review what they look like. On the left hand side, we have the head dorsal. On one side you have the eyes, and on the other you have the roof of the mouth. On the right handed side, we have the jaw ventral, which is the underside of the chin. And if you were to flip that over, you have the bird's eye view of the tongue. So the way that I place them now is a way that you're going to glue them. Put some glue on the sides that say jaw internal, and head internal. This is to build the entire oral cavity or the mouth of the pig. So when you attach them like so, you are going to build the entire head so that if you were to open up the pig, you can open it accordingly. You would have the tongue at the bottom and you would have the roof of the mouth at the top, like so. You'll be able to open and close the mouth and be able to view the different flaps on the top of the head to see the brain. And you'll also be able to see underneath the jaw or the chin of our pig in order to see, again, some of the passageways in the veins and arteries or glands that are located down our throat.
Now set your head aside because we'll be gluing it later.